Today's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Thunder 2004. This is race 20 of 36 of my championship. We're going to Pocono Raceway for the Pennsylvania 500. Last time we went there uh, at Pennsylvania, we had this enormous wreck and crap. Number one car went flying and Robbie Gordon hating me again. As, it, as you may have noticed, it now says 1 out of 17 instead of 20 out of 36. Well, stupid JC1424 was too busy jamming to I Hate Everything About You by Three Days Grace to realize his finger was over the power button, waiting to press it while it was saving the game. Well, put too much pressure on the freaking button and you turn it off and he corrupts the thing. I don't want to go on about it. I just need to get this video recording as fast as possible. Because I'm trying to have myself a little special for Veterans Day with a bunch of other videos. Basically, we now have to, um... We now have to just start to press slate all zero points on the table. It's going to be a lot harder to win the championship. So I'm going to have to try a lot harder. So, whatever. Big, stupid, epic failure of mistake. This championship's going to be really interesting now. Because I don't have this 200-point lead. We're driving the Toys R Us car. Last time we did that, we are at California, and that was just a terrible race. The car was not fast enough for me. Oh, crap. I really wish I knew how to drive this car during race day, as I could during qualifying. But all the other cars just always make me nervous around here, because the car doesn't feel the same. The car does not feel the same with other cars around me. This should be a pole lap time, because that was really pretty fast. Okay, second place. That's a disappointment right there. I need first place. See, that was the first lap, and you have slow starts on qualifying, so this has got to be a good lap. All i got to do is drive well. Oh, man, I took that turn well. I didn't uh, corrupt my freaking championship on purpose. Oh my god, I need to shut my face. I'm gonna freaking crash into the freaking wall in the backstretch because this controller sucks so bad and the reaction time of the PlayStation 2 plugged into the PC is just... Oh god. Ah, oh god. Turn this piece of shit, JC1424. Man, I cannot focus if I'm talking. I don't even think I'm gonna be able to get the pull now. Oh, yep, that's pulled, definitely. Uh, I could have driven that lap a lot better, like 51.2, had I not gotten tight in that last turn. Of course, I did not um, corrupt my championship on purpose, as I was saying. I would not do that. I had a big lead, and I was probably going to win the championship. It's going to be a lot harder to do that. I have to be a lot more consistent now if I want to win the championship. Okay, after going through some practice runs earlier this track, I'm still freaking crazy about the uh the wedge um it's really loose on the rear end i don't want to be so nervous and this changing this will make me less nervous that i can be sure of i'll try to change that and uh well now the car will be tighter because the wedge really changes stuff once it gets into the positive range we'll turn down the tire pressure because it does get tight up front again hopefully this change isn't too drastic if it is, damn it. Well, here we go. Pennsylvania 500. My favorite track, the Tricky Triangle, Pocono Raceway. Welcome to Pocono Raceway, located in the heart of the beautiful Pocono Mountains for today's Pennsylvania 500 on MRN. This track produces some of the fastest racing of the year, but it also presents some special challenges to the drivers. Unique is mm -hmm. definitely the word for this racetrack. First of all, there are only three corners, each of which has completely different banking, which also means there are three straightaways. And guess what? They're all different links. This is one tough racetrack to prepare a race car for. Mm -hmm. Tony Stewart won the 2002 NASCAR Winston Cup Series Championship. And it was a tough battle with him edging out Mark Martin. Robbie Gordon hates me again. You could really see this team pulling together to win Forgot the championship about that. throughout the year. At least Bobby Labonte isn't pissed off about the New Hampshire crap anymore. That's good. Slump that we always hear about. With only one I think he's still in this sophomore slump. He's points, starting 38th. But you have to believe that Richard Childress race team, especially one with good wrench on the hood, is going to find his championship form sooner or later. Oh, 
Okay, what is that? What what do we have here? I don't know what it's called. I recognize it, I just don't know what it's called. Well, Jeff Gordon on the outside, then Rusty Wallace, and I think that's the number nine car behind him. Uh, Bill Elliott. Bill Elliott's good at the big tracks. Okay, here we go. I have to do really good if I want to get back to where I was before I corrupted my freaking championship. I kind of scraped up Gordon a little too much. I was just trying to make him nervous, but, you know, I suck. I need to do a great job of controlling my car because these other guys, they make me nervous. And they're getting to me. Jeff Gordon is getting to me right now. Damn it! Ah, oh, God. JC1424 sucks. I need to be less uh, crazy about my tire wear. It's actually a little bit more comfortable for me after I made that change after qualifying. Oh my god, I'm pulling the hell away from them. Uh, bad start on the first lap, I hit Jeff Gordon. And Jeff Gordon is of course my second favorite driver, hence JC1424, 24, and Tony Stewart, he drops 14, but he'll get over it eventually. <laughs> it's his fault, he passed me and I'm not that good, so whatever. Okay, I need to focus on my driving line. I need to have some good races in these last 17 freaking races of the season now. This is one of the hardest turns in the game right there. That turn right there is the hardest one. I have spun out in that turn so many times. It's ridiculous. I spin out in that turn almost every time I race here and I just need to focus on not doing that. I'm doing a great freaking job. I'm pulling the hell away from those cars. I said the exact same thing in the exact same place last lap. But I need it. I need to keep at it. It might be boring, but I'm just trying to get back on my feet after making that big mistake. Pressing the freaking power button while it's saving. Dumbass. Damn it! Cars tight. You've gotta cut down to the bottom earlier than that, JC1424. If you don't cut down to the bottom, uh early enough you're just gonna get stuck up top see I know what I drive I just it doesn't apply very well to me whenever I'm in the middle of you know the actual race day you've got to know that feeling okay I've I've learned that feeling well uh, difference between practice and the actual thing from being in band in high school and everything and the marching you get really nervous whenever you get on the field it's the same thing in here because it just it just doesn't feel the same. Ah, no. Gosh, if I had a freaking Dual Shock 2 instead of this third-party piece of crap controller, which you should know by now, I would be able to control my throttle a lot better and stabilize it if I drift out too much to the top. You should know my strategy. I want you to be as good as me, you know? I'm pretty good at driving at this track. It's just other cars. The other cars are getting far out of sight now. I think the key to that second turn, that one that's really hard, um, the key is to it, there, there's, there's, there's these two benchmarks. They both say the same thing, that they're repetitive. Pocono. Uh, Pocono. No, that's a NASCAR, but whatever. It says Pocono on all of them. Um, you've got to break like right in between them, maybe a little closer to the second one to time how you uh, break and stuff. That's where I start breaking into the turns. Look, it's repetitive. You got to look at the wall. It stops for a little bit and then it goes again. You got to break in between them. Right here. That was a little early, but... Ugh, God. It all, it all matters. Me talking about how I drive is really, um... It's, it's really helping me, though. This might be a little boring with me kicking everybody's ass, but... It's, it's really... It, it beats frickin' California in this car. Last time, look at the California. Man, I, the car was so slow, I was blocking cars, and I could barely even do that.
Ah, uh, I cut down a little too um, late. If you cut down at the right time, the car goes from top to bottom and hangs there all the way through the turn until you're stuck coming out. I drifted my way down to the bottom because I had a little bit of a late entrance of breaking into the turn. You just gotta watch those benchmarks on the wall. Uh, oh god! Focus on the turn that you're going into, not the one you just went through, JC1424. Uh, just keep swimming, or driving. No, just keep racing. This is racing, there are cars behind you. Got Matt Kenseth behind me in second. It would be freaking Jeff Gordon had I not hit him because I'm so stupid. I had hit Jeff Gordon. Never hit Jeff Gordon. Of course, if you saw the All-Star um, highlight video, well, man, Jeff Gordon, he deserves, he deserves anything I give him now. Your left front tire's a little worn. Oh, God, that was perfect that time. It, it's a little slow on the exit because I wasn't at the top, but that was great. Oh god, I cut down way too early. And it's kind of hard to cut down at the right time with this controller. It's just... This third-party controller... It... It's freaking... The analog sticks are in the controller. Like, they don't stick out. They're like... Within the... Things that... Holds them there. I don't know how to say it. I should look at the controller after the race and show you it or something. I don't know, maybe I'll put a picture of the controller after the video is over and you can see what it looks like. Its reaction time is off by about, I don't know, four hundredths of a second. Which is only a little bad. At the same time, it's also a little insensitive, according to the analog sticks. Maybe too sensitive, insensitive, whatever you want to call it. The analog sticks don't feel right. Especially with them being in the freaking controller. Oh no! Okay. Let's stop talking about the piece of shit controller and focus on the track again. I've gone eight laps talking about random crap. That does involve gaming entirely, not just racing. Okay, cars are coming out of the pit, so... Uh, I hate the way there's no exit to pit road. It's just get on the track. Get me stuck up top. Ah, crap! I braked right, I just cut down extremely early. I think I should pit exactly at the halfway point, just for the sake of equality between how it felt the first time and the second time. I don't want to be like into SE4R. If you've been Let's watching his uh, Craftsman Truck Series, uh, videos for NASCAR 05. Man, they have been killing him lately with the, the way he, um, he's come close, he'll change something, and then it affects the end of his race because whenever his tires get worn, he's not used to the way the car setup feels, and it's, it's just disappointing for him. I really hope that he gets back on his feet eventually, and he can finish in the top five in the championship. I'm sure he can. I know he can. He's just that good. Aw, oh, crap. And that's a break late. Yeah, cars behind me. You dumbass, don't you get off the track to pass me. Whoa! Okay. Almost, I was afraid of that wall right there. Okay, I've gone 10 laps. I think I could go more. Uh, no, I can't. I'm tight. Got one inside. Couple top five cars okay. Are on I was afraid I wasn't going to slow down right. Okay, just normal pit stop. Uh, I, had a, I had a pretty big lead over Matt Kenseth. Lap traffic might have been slowing him down, so I probably gained even more. Uh, but man, I had to slow down for the 41 car who had to pass on the inside before I came into the pits. Tire marks on the right side of my car because of hitting uh, Jeff Gordon. Is that the right side of my car? Yes, it is. Stupid NASCAR and left turns and whatever confusing me. Go, 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 go. That was pretty fast. 16.5 second pit stop. Go, 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 go. You got some traffic. Easy on the merge. 
Yeah, I really don't have much of choice on how you enter the track. I don't have any traffic. What the hell are you talking about? Okay, let's go. Ah! Dumbass, JC1424. Just a dumbass. You're gonna come that close to the wall. I'm gonna have to drive fast if I wanna make up that time I had for slowing down the 41 for the 41 car. Because I couldn't just get off the track and go take my pit stop. You know, I uh, I had to slow down so he could pass and then get off the track. At least I'm considerate. Unlike the stupid AI cars, they slow down, get off the track, and everybody slams into them because they slow down while they're still on the track. I got out of the way and slow down, you know? Okay. We're in 10th place. I definitely need top fives if I want to win this championship like I, was, like I was supposed to. I'm talking way too fast, I'm sorry, but... I definitely need a top five in all my races if I want to win this championship like I was supposed to. Is that articulation good enough for you? Okay. Oh. Uh, don't touch the curb. Don't touch the curb. You'll do, you'll, you'll do a freaking barrel roll across the top of the track. And in the late NASCAR... In the, uh... In the later EA Sports NASCAR games, the, uh... The cars were so stupid. Like, they would... They would wobble and start flipping just all by themselves. It was ridiculous. I don't think I should tell you about that story for NASCAR 09, but it was just Jimmy Johnson at New Hampshire, and it was a long time ago. It was before I was even even doing anything on YouTube, and I don't think I should try to tell you the story because I really got to focus on everything. I think the leader is going into the pits on this lap. Maybe he is. Is that blue dot on the map? Yeah, he is. Okay. I should definitely be able to get the lead back. Okay. I always shut up in this going into this turn because I know it's a very important turn. I think I've got this one in the bag. I really wanted to win my favorite track, uh, favorite NASCAR track in the world. And uh, I think I've got this one in the bag here. All depends on if I've got it timed right to get out of the pits and pass I can't do I think I do okay yep we do we got the lead oh my god an enormous ass lead man I've got a lead so big that it might as well be uh, I don't know it's so big right now oh my god look how big that is I guess I had a really fast pit stop it was 16.5 Oh god, I braked too, way too early, and then I lost control of the car. Man, I broke, I, I broke, I braked, yes, because it's a different word. I braked, like, right before the first one, the first benchmark. You're supposed to break in between them. You break in between them, and that's just, you know, kind of what it's supposed to be. Accuracy is breaking a little bit after the halfway point between both the benchmarks. If you pay attention to the wall, look, watch, Pocono. Pocono. You gotta watch the wall. That's how I do it, okay? Okay. Coming around, gonna have five laps to go. I'm still driving fast lap times, but geez, my qualifying lap times have. My qualifying lap time. My qualifying lap time beat the one that I have right now as my best. I think my voice just cracked. I don't give a crap. I love puberty. I'm gonna miss it whenever my voice isn't cracking anymore. Ah, God, I couldn't get the couldn't get the car at the bottom in this turn. I need to think about this turn next time I come around. I wanna I wanna have a lap time better than my qualifying lap time. These are like God, look at that. That is not good. Matt Kenseth is four and a half seconds behind me. Okay, we got five more laps. If he were to gain a second, or 0 .9, 0 0.95 seconds every lap on me, he would have it in the bag. I just need to be fast. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, that was so damn good. You have to believe me right there, that was so good. 
tires wear uh, God, I'm really tight in this turn. I don't know. That's turn. That turn is not usually a problem for me. But oh my God, my lap. Well, I'm pulling away from Matt Kinsey. I guess it's just the car setup. It's different. Ah, uh, come on, damn it! Turn car. I'm gonna say just like into SC4R does. Turn truck. <laughs> Except it's a car, so yeah. I love the way he does that. He's like turn truck every video. It's the same problem every time. Ah. Uh, I don't want it to happen again. I just not this video. Oh god, Matt Kenton is definitely gonna catch me this lap. Or some of me. What? That doesn't make any sense. JC1424. Damn it, this turn! Oh my god, no! Jeez. This turn is killing me. God, these toys are just gonna break. This this toy car, this toy car. There's got to be Hot Wheels somewhere out written on this car, I swear. No, God, I'm doing terrible. Matt Kenseth is going to catch me if I can't. I've got to focus these last few laps. These are important laps right here. I have to have some doubt. If I don't have any doubt, then I'm probably going to just have too much pride and lose. Here we go. Ugh, the tires are worn. The, f the front tires are one. I saw the uh, indicator at the top of the screen. The, s the scream! The scream! The top of the screen. Wow. What are we talking about? The indicator at the top of the screen said my front tires are worn, and I can feel it. Oh my god! Turn, 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 turn! Turn, car! Ah, crap. The voice cracked again. Turn, car. We got two laps to go. Oh my god. 2.4 seconds. I can't! The car is not good right now. The tires are worn out. Ugh, jeez. They kind of, I think they kind of worn out. They kind of wore out a little fast. Oh, what am I doing? I went crazy going into the turn, but, well, I guess I took control of it right. It's probably just luck that I took control of the car right. Because that's like three and ten times going to the turn like that, I would have spun out. Well, I mean, three and ten times I wouldn't have spun out, yeah. Okay, last lap. Control this car for uh, one more lap. I just spit all over the desk whenever I said, whenever I crossed the finish line. Ah, crap. Man, is this going to be like the same freaking thing? Okay, I can see Matt Kenseth approaching our rearview mirror. I'm just going to focus my way to the end. All tires are uh, worn down. Let's just get these last two turns right and win. This car is very worn out. But it looks good. I mean, the back of the car is, is fine. This is it. Oh yeah! First race of my uncorrupted se I don't know how to say it. Whatever. One of my favorite track, Pocono That's Raceway. Yeah! Ugh. Let's do some donuts. And y'all face, Matt Kinsis. Okay. Really get on the throttle right there. I'm using the analog stick to control the throttle right now. I don't want to blow my engine in the victory celebration, as they say not to do. Yeah. Ah. This is for you, Hot Wheels. I love you. I love Hot Wheels. You know, it's, it's a car and it says Toys R Us, so... Hot Wheels. This is for Hot Wheels. Screw Matchbox. Love Hot Wheels. I don't usually try to do... Yeah, I can't really do burn it. Oh, ah, oh, man, I overheated my engine, so you can't see the back of my car. Whatever, I don't give a crap. Ah, uh, this is a nice way to start off my um reset up crap season after making that big old mistake. 
Okay, well, let's see if I can get in my pit stall good. Well, whatever. Where is it? There it is. That's fine. That's fine. They can get to both sides. Not a single uh, caution lap was run. Oh the man, whole look race. at that. You know, that's pretty Whoa. amazing. Huh. It says a lot about the quality and true was... talent of these NASCAR Winston Cup drivers. Tony Stewart comes away with a win. And yes. rightfully so. He was fast all race long. That whole team deserves a lot of credit for a great win. Tony Stewart ran a very respectable race, and I think some other drivers are taking notice. That's yeah, just Bobby Labonte. Drivers work together out there, even when they aren't teammates. See, we're buddies again because uh I had this old thing reset. Uh, and that's one of my favorite songs in the world right there. It's my freaking alarm tone in the morning for school. This song right here. Here we go. Yeah, man, I love that. Oh, man, I want to see that first reel again. That, that was where I almost went out of control. Come on, I can't see it. Ah, oh, oh, we ain't going to do this stupid shit. You've got to have better cameras than that. What cameras do we have? Let's go for rear end again. I want to see that reel. That was where I almost went out of control. Reel one. One more time. Let's see this one. See, I didn't do that on purpose. I just, it's hard to control this car with this controller. It looked good the first time, man, and you should agree with me. Okay, victory lane, one more time. Again, whatever. I'm going to have it several more times. I have to if I want to win this championship. Love Pocono so much. Tricky Triangle. Woo! Yeah, yeah. I know it sounds stupid. But I love sounding... I can sound whoever I want to. I won! I win, so I get to enjoy myself. If you don't want me to enjoy myself, then why are you watching my videos? Oh, jeez. Now, where's my trophy? Where's my big old Pennsylvania trophy? There we go. Big old eagle. I think it's an eagle. Maybe it's a falcon at the top of the trophy. Oh, Bobby Labonte doesn't hate me anymore because New Hampshire, I kind of screwed him up twice. Of course, one time it was his fault. And then my car had some stupid special needs at New Hampshire. I couldn't get the car to drive right at all, but I still got a great finish there. Bobby Gordon hates my guts again because, well, that's what he, he did at the end of the 2002 season or whatever. And whenever this game came out. And, well... I had a corrupted championship on accident. A big stupid accident. I didn't do it on purpose. Stupid three days grace. But I love three days grace. Jeff Gordon. Okay, that was my fault. It's because I suck. I hit him on accident. Lost control of my car. He'll get over it eventually. Hey, you got a top 10. Barely, but that's good. Let's see. Did I... I led... Oh, no. I died to led every single lap. No, I didn't lead those laps because of my pit stop. So, I led 16 laps. That's the most. Matt Kinseth led one lap. He was always tailing me, so he gets a five bonus points. At 17, there are three more others. Michael Waltrip finished in ninth place, and uh, he led three laps. So, good for you, Michael Waltrip. I think Michael Waltrip won at a... Uh, I can't remember. I can't remember where it was that Michael Waltrip won at. It was before New Hampshire. I know that. I don't remember where it was that Michael Waltrip won at. Uh, Chicagoland. Yeah, Michael Waltrip won at Chicagoland. I think so. I don't know. I have to watch one of my own videos to remember. All I know is that I was happy that he was winning or something. Well, next up is Brickyard uh, Motor Speedway. Yeah. This is going to be a pretty tough challenge. This was a great video. I know I led a lot of laps, and I was trying to control my car and crap, and 
May have been boring with me up front all the time, but hey, Pocono's just not one of the places where I'm very secure at. Thank you for watching. I said that already. Whatever. JC1424 out, and this uh, refreshed uh, season mode is um, it's off to a pretty good start. But this is still the same LP season mode, whatever. I just kind of customize it to go right off the races that were supposed to happen. Uh, next up is Brickyard, as I said. And I intend for this to be a kind of um, uh, Armistice Day, Veterans Day special. Spe special? Special for Wednesday. Um, I'm going to have like four videos. NASCAR Thunder 2004, two NASCAR PSP, ATV Offered Fury, and I intend for them to all be out on Wednesday. Because, you know, just red, white, and blue cars and stuff. Next race, I'm going to drive the uh, red, white, and blue Tony Stewart car again. So, um, episode over. <laughs>